Cool. That's a spawner. Actually, I was speaking English. This one. I got an idea. You know, if you write poetry, you are a poet. But not everybody does write poetry, or it is considered that not everybody does it. Okay, I wrote poetry, my dad wrote poetry, my grand, my real grandfather from Bucharest read in French, uh, read French novels, but we never knew him. Because of the, all the mishaps. Dad was born one year before exactly to the day of Hiroshima, 6 of August, but though the date is not sure. So I have to say, um, after I came acquainted with, because you know, I wrote on paper, first I first dictated to my mother, 1986, I have the copy book in her drawer and stuff like that. But I quit because I got religious. So, uh, uh, religious, I mean, prayers. I started to say prayers, you know, like a Christian Muslim every day, morning and before nine. Sleep, but um, so I kind of quit on the poems and started them again. And actually, before I wrote poems, I was studying to translate. I translated poems. Daddy had a average book anthology from nineteen eighty two, I think, from when I was. He used to write, though he was in here, in socialist, whatever, to some foreign guys and said, look, I am a teacher, I am a poet, I am whatever, please send me books to poetry and stuff like that. And he got, even in the 80s, we have, maybe even before, I don't know. And we have some books in French, French culture from France to West Africa, stuff like that. Okay, because my mother was a French and Romanian teacher. And uh, what do I have to say? And my father was a Romanian teacher. And he is a poet. My dad is still lives. We are only two of us. This is why it's so hard. Now it's uh, in 2011. This is actually was what Mama says. And this uh, is older than her death. So, uh, what I have to say, uh, I remember when Daddy put that on this. It was while well, she was still alive. But it, it looks like organ pipes, you know? They say I'm uh, mentally ill. Can you believe this? I don't know my uh, fingers. They don't look very good anyway, but uh, I just don't know them. And let you see my feet. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do I have to say? Uh, I have to say that... Uh, And if you want to sing a guitar without a saw like that, you need a bit of finger, you know. 
though you can't do it like that, like the old lady, old sister talking. You know, this is how the Russian feel. Not like this, like this. Or I do it actually like this. So what do I have to say? Um, poetry, and then I came into the virtual world of poetry, and I, of course, uh, I could. I sent to magazines, whatever, whatever. I was published before in Romania by some of my father's friends. Before I really became really shitty, and they just wouldn't even read me anymore, you know, because I wrote pyramids. I still remember the neighbor of under us, you know, we were lived at third, at the second, she lived at the first. And when I was a child and I came from school, a small child, she used to smoke at the mezzanine from uh, low to the lower level to the first and she told me I'll give you money go buy for me some uh, painkillers and I don't know what she meant to do that anyway so uh, what do I have to say uh, the, the poetry may have a purpose even if your name isn't Byron or say Robbie Barnes, you can be a regular person and write poems like one poem of my book of my dad is very quite recently two weeks ago maybe okay, and uh, he named it you know when you read your uh, what you consume in your abode all those things you have to give the meters what you consume well, my father wrote a book of poems, and actually, he wrote, he worked with some people in poetry, corrected commas, style, stuff like that, gave, gave advice, mentored, and maybe even worked on poetry, so young poets. And so, a magazine or somebody said, look, because that if you were working on some poem, we will publish you at a certain publishing house a book of yours, whatever you want, and we will publish it there. So he published that book, which isn't quite big, not also not small, and it is uh, named The Lesson of. Uh, oh, self uh, reading, you know, to the state, like that. This is the idea before the metaphor. The state is interested how much energy did you spend the last month or two months or something like that. And you have a meter, stand on a stool. And read it like an hour, right? And you say, I have uh, gave a phone, I have uh, the numbers like this. You stay with a candle or a lantern. So, uh, this is um, what my father did. And what do I want to say? 
you know uh it's like that monday morning miracle you know for me it really was a miracle and uh, for maybe for all the children or the whatever we were in the ninth in the tenth grade at school when we studied that that uh, lesson is the beginning of the almost at the beginning of the notebook or how do you say it it was something uh, extraordinary to us romanians because really we could travel three hours to somebody or something like that or one hour and a half and nobody would say anything unless there were some peasants or some very normal people but you wouldn't dare to and they will i don't know what they spoke about and anyway i didn't travel only weekly and i after that i didn't yeah, be worried but that uh, driver it was morning and the bus whatever bus was was uh, for the driver people stood hiding behind the newspapers books whatever as was back then and then all of a sudden the voice of the driver said stop something like that stop watching hold it right there now close your newspaper put down your books turn to it to your fellow or in front of you whatever and look at the traveler next to you say hello how are you good morning wake up something like that and so it was something that was spiritual so what do I have to say? Uh, this uh, is one thing, but another thing is on a more uh, human level that, uh, you know, some people play cricket or basketball or whatever, though they play it for fun. Some people write poetry for fun or as a hobby to put it, to put it quite to uh, this uh, you know without uh, being sure they are the future what can i say dream boy so uh I go beyond even that. People need to write poetry. I mean, the Edas. Imagine, 1,000 years ago, maybe I am wrong. And even before, the Vikings, even when they were not written, they said the Edas. They sang, they <coughs> make noise with their voices. When they were in when they were victorious, when they were in defeat, when they made a child, when they were killed, when they were old, when they were young, whatever, they sang, they told. She was the beautiful princess from the kingdom of recess, and this song was above recess, and I loved you, and I died. <laughs> this a bit, no, you understand? People need to do this, but more than to communicate something uh, beautiful about themselves to the world. I mean, look at me, I am your uh, JC. No. To have a bit of a. Um, it's like waxing your ears. Because we can, and after, and I've seen this in myself, I do 
things today, or at least I did, that I wouldn't have considered as a teenager, or as a child, or as a young man, or whatever. And now, and the more I do this life, so to say, the more lonely I am. It doesn't help. I don't think, I don't know. This is a sign that I am after 40. But more than myself, uh, about 40 is I want to say. Though you can be senile even at 17. Whatever. Uh, I mean, with your mind already said, oh, I want to make money, I want to have sex, I want to have a Jaguar, I don't know what I want to do, I do not want to work, I want to be a badass, I want to be a majoress, something I want to do, but nothing else. And of course, so I have to all these things. I'm going to bullshit everybody. I'm going to speak just the right words. I'm going to choose a lifestyle. Hang with that lifestyle. And that's my life. But you would not realize, and I don't want to make the Woodrow Wilson guy what he did, William Wilson. No, you might might under you might think yourself, oh, I'm beautiful, suffer, no, suffer, and instead be that stupid funny one. You know, because you really stop not communicating. You don't even communicate. Like you stop even thinking. You stop even feeling. What do I feel about this? about anything and how can you say if you stop a people on the street you can't stop people on the street you look man i'm lost please uh call to this number so they come to take me because i'm in different city they won't stop so how can you do it well you can write you can write a novel that no one would read more often, or you can uh, make some gossip, you know, or you can write a poem. Everybody can write a poem, and actually, I believe it should be in school to write how to to learn how to write a poem, and not uh, in uh, also in colleges too, but. In primary school, in secondary school, in high school, uh, some teachers do this, but may maybe when it is too late, you know, I made my first poem at first four years and a half. I made my first poem at one year. So my first words was uh, Tata, Papa, Mama, which in English would mean Daddy, eat mommy. <laughs> you can understand that. My three words were a haiku. And I am no big shot. Just look at me. But uh, what's important for me to be to make my own poem of self help? What's important for me first is my family. I would have liked to have a larger family. Uh, my God gave me two good parents and some dead good parents. And that was all. So, to be quite bluntly, why I stay here, why I do this, I do this for breeding, actually, 
uh, if I wouldn't have to breathe because I am really an invalid, though maybe I may not seem so anymore. But uh, I need to breathe. So if I need to breathe, I need to speak. And what I learned in school was to orate. So I do this. And what I learned in church was to dignify the church. Have a word. So. Uh, and uh, of course, I have other interests too. But uh, I want to say that uh, and poems, you, you know, you t if you take a poet like Robert Frost, you just, you just cannot figure him, him out. He was born in the 70s, 1870s. He started writing, he read stuff, but he only published in, the in 1913, something like that. A boy who how much years passed since then? Let the math teachers answer that question. Then he publishes two more books next year, and then Bobkos. And then of course he published some material, but he actually has like four he, when he is mentioned on the Wikipedia minion, there was uh, not so good translations to his uh, titles, books. So I uh, translated and I know some of the titles now. Uh, Boys Will, North of Boston, Witness Tree, or something like that. So, uh, and he won four Pulitzers. Well, let aside the prizes. The stuff is, what did he do before 1913? And after 1930, whatever, whatever his fourth mentionable book, because he wrote or he published afterwards, or he did creative writing when he was a farmer and stuff like that, but uh, he wasn't that guy, look man, I am the man, you need to hear newsletters from me this big every year, for two years, I'm going to send you material, you are my land, you got to listen to me, you got to do what I say, I mean poetically. It's to the I am the general of force. No. I do this because I know what pleurisy is or other stuff. And here I'm, I am a bit paranoid, you know. And I don't like, or maybe I'm not paranoid, but I don't like to open the window. Now I like a bit, but I don't like to open the window because uh, le, la gente, ordinary people, would mock me. And I don't like to be mocked, so I stay in closed air, which really makes can make you chimpy, you know. So, uh, poetry for poets is very serious matter. Or not at all, but uh, it could be used as a psychological aid, and I don't mean for clinically people with illnesses, because clinically we are all mountains. Maybe uh, some, uh, I don't want to mean in the bad way, I mean this is me. You put a steak in on the table and you eat it. Here is a here is like a steak. You cannot be sane. Whatever who you are, you cannot be sane. You can, however, choose 
a good behavior, whatever you are a priest or a Dalai Lama or an emperor or somebody. But uh, you, nevertheless, you are a man. You are a bag of shit. You must know that to, to be sane or, or a bit saner than I am. My own, my own personal uh, illnesses were that uh, I got some obsessions and I knew myself and I knew myself not I mean I was quite biblical I mean even as a child I knew I was not like the other kids and look at me I sit next to a bed full of uh, books which are mine and I have uh, a know-how how to make when to know when to buy new books, new old books or whatever, in languages and stuff like that. And the only reason I do not uh, stay all day to read them, let aside the recording, digging, hunting stuff, is this data book. It obsesses me. Is the is the good book, you know. For years I just couldn't read anything and then they put an injection so I couldn't read half a third of a page. Now I can read and I feel like um, I'm in a room full of lasers and there's me and the Bible and you're not gonna jump. And this laptop and every book has an interest as an aim at something or somebody and I don't know if any book but uh, I don't think that uh, I don't think in innocence of books you know though we all know the quote or almost so I should say that uh, in order to demineralize ourselves poetry is a very good way because you must use the word we don't communicate with colors we don't communicate with music we don't uh, say when we meet on the street la di da la di da no. we don't uh, uh, dance you know Hey, you, you meet uh, somebody on the bus, oh, let's make tango, tango on, tango on. No. You speak. Now, the idea is not to make a freestyle, you know, but to stay in an introspection, wherever you are, even in prison or in a temple, and uh, say, what do I and this is <laughs> naturally it came when I came from the hospital and uh, it was really hard for me my dad uh, advised me again to write to write to to to, to write five line poems as before you know, because I had problem in 2003 I am troubled by the three years I mean the years which end with three. I don't know why. I don't understand the difference. It's like all the world is coming against us. So, uh, and he gave me some agendas, like this one, but this is a very old one. This is from the year when I got uh, committed can you imagine a committed criminal so uh, what can I say is that um, my father said Chem Dan Gundi Dea which was exactly what I would say I would say uh, what do I think about or how do I think about 
what is my uh, frame of mind to do? Maybe more. I mean, to translate my father's line would be, or title in Francis, is what ideas to my mind. And this is a quote from, uh, now I realize it better, in Caragiale, a lost letter to Standa, the cup. Yeah. When the gypsy caught the cup, <laughs> because uh, we live in a society, and the, I usually, if a cup says something to me, I ponder about it, you know, I think on it. Well, it's not about this, I want to say, is that everybody can use this uh, little trick. And there is a website which presents himself as uh, the biggest, it's an old poetry, the biggest website of. Uh, of da, așa, trebuie să spui, tot manifestă, manifestă că poate fi, poate fi că, no, so it's beyond even It's beyond even, um, what can I say, self-expression or therapy is, uh, it could be a step to sanity. It's not easy to write a poem, you know, because this is what I have, and I want to say in another way, uh, you can't. You can be in many ports, live alone, and have lost lives. But uh, when you are in society, when you have your family, you have your attributions, you have your everything, you know, your friends from school, from army, from whatever, and uh, somehow you become like. Uh, like a puppet, like uh, somebody from Commedia dell'arte. Arlecchino is never free. He always get uh, mistreated and stuff like that. And I would know because I'm a dramatical guy. I learn things like that. Or uh, in comedy, comedy is not tragedy. Tragedy is sacred. Comedy is like a uh, uh, spicy tragedy. You know? I mean, not spicy. Uh, with uh, all the trimmings. You know? Like uh, Hamlet. This is why I like Hamlet. I believe I like Hamlet. Anyway, I believe I do, but uh, what he did there was not, was not uh, the good wine, you know, to make that enactment. Uh, and many, many people do, you know. Some people you never know appear on your screen and want to know if you are anything. Even God. They look for God. Because actually, and I have to say, to make one remark, Jewish people still look for God. So, uh, maybe even porn has a purpose. You never see 
Good for yelling or speech stealing for people. It's always, or uh, this and niggles, you know, it's always the bad people. And you start to believe first that maybe it's normal, or maybe you are one of them too. And then <sighs> your whole land is godless. So, uh, what do I have to say? Uh, I have to say that writing a poem is good, even if you are not a poet. On the other hand, now you, you, uh, you know, there was a book over here that says something that resembles literature. Look, man, you are not interested in literature, you are, you are an engineer. You are whatever you are, painter, doctor, plumber, or maybe you work for the army, anything. You, don't, you are not interested in books. No, you are interested what's inside still. What does still remain? You know the poem I translated in 1995. Thirteen. The poem is like that, old. And th and actually that poem, because Daddy really freaked me out. That poem, what does says? Oh Susan, she cried, you stained your new waist. And I looked in the dictionary. What means waist? I think. And it really impressed me. And uh, there are some um, some um, metaphors that were really good and deep and I more often don't dig anything except the end map but uh, what I get is good enough for me I mean the first sense maybe some but I never am ancestral what is it too bad to boot or to be a Six four, you know. So to me, it was extraordinary that gee, this, and I didn't even knew how she looked, or I didn't saw her like uh, Gina Rodriguez, you know, on a screen. No, she was a poet, like any other poet, or more. So uh, when she said uh, that she was with her sister um, uh, picking something blueberries or something from all the way from Damaris Kosta. Oh Susan, she said, you've stained your new waist. Uh, I understood the verses after I looked in the dictionary. And uh, I was 13 and the poem was perfect. Poem was beautiful, and it says, this, "Why are you bothering me? Don't you see I'm dreaming in a dream and never waking and stuff like that?" So I don't know what happened with them, why they left me. Or any, on the other hand, uh, there wasn't good enough treatment because it happens to a lot of people, and only the artists are remembered, something like that. And uh, maybe some presidents are not allowed to kill them, you know, like in America, how things get treated, the popes, stuff like that. But uh, maybe you are all hiding something that doesn't really exist from uh, a search that doesn't really exist, and that makes we all difficult, and this is why we mineralize, we exclude ourselves from each other. I mean, uh, not uh, at the higher level. I mean, here, where I live, because I live here, I don't live anybody else. And I really 
This is where my mother and my father on my poetry is actually. I moved a place to another place. And I was alone. We knew what to do with that, uh, those guys. But uh, to them it took one year or two years. To us it took 95 to last two years. So uh, I think you all understand why it, it could be useful not just to read a diary, to write a diary. Some people write diaries in uh, on paper and store it in stuff like that. But uh, a poem can be really challenging. And one thing, I wrote limericks. And a poem, my, my advice, my advice, my professional advice, is true poetry is not ironic, is not centered or, though it may seem it is never cent centered or anybody else. For instance, on this site, if you want to publish a poem or a book, you have like uh, 9,000 words or something like that. You have to write two comments or pay $2 or something like that to not write comments. And there were people that w wrote uh, poems anti-Trump or stuff like that or how he was a, no this is no this is not a poem and you are not a poet you might be even whatever this is the critics argumentation the poem is me and you or maybe me and me and some things which uh, you are among them that are already into me. And I can open this like shark. You can open a shark up, right? Because it's bad. It doesn't deserve nothing. And look inside and what can you see? A beach. Look on the beach, and the beach has shells, rocks, stuff like that. And so, I am not concerned with you as a reader or as a writer. Or me, uh, you are not concerned with me and you or how we met. You, I mean, where's what's your name? What's my name? Where are you from? When are you born? How will you live? How will I strive? No. We are concerned about those uh, shells, stones, maybe garbage, anything. And we look into ourselves and we put it on a paper or we write it on a Facebook or we put it on a all poetry and uh, say submit. Now, as I understand, uh, I don't know what poet, Joyce or somebody else, sent some material, poems, I think, to T.S. Eliot, who was working then in America, for a magazine. And T.S. Eliot advised him to choose another trade. And afterwards, that guy became great and stuff like that but uh, I think that the good question was put by uh, Kate Winslet in 1997 when um, a woman though I did not see the movie back 
then, only maybe after my mama died or something like that. And she was talking with some guy and she said that uh, Titanic is big, Titanic is strong, Titanic, uh -huh. and she really has a remark, a flapperist remark. Uh, and as you can see, life is more complex uh, in this way. So what can I say? This, um, I have to say that uh, poetry remains. And we have uh, national poetry, universal poetry, ancient poetry, and we could have family poetry, or we could have lonely poetry. But there is a way to survive. And let's imagine a guy with leprosy after he left. Or a blind man, or a rapist, or maybe a killer, or maybe a mobster, or maybe, let's say, a duke, or maybe another duke. Before they put their balls on the table, they say, look, before we make war, we make chess. But before we make chess, or checkers, for instance, that's good too. Uh, let's write each other poem and then make a ring. I mean, So uh, this is uh, poetry is the trade of the soul. You know, you never see very much likes to all people, and you never see lately or whatever much use for old people. Though they say the world is getting old, which I think is a lie because they will find a way for the old to die. I don't know why. Because I don't understand what money is. But I really don't think that This book should be forgotten. Even the Quran or the Avesta or whatever, or the scriptural Queen of Sheba. But I have to say, I do not think, but uh, the, this book should never be forgotten. I only say this, I say no more. But um, socially, if you have an old person in a family and you let him go, the great, from what I know from pastors, imams, and stuff like that, in other situations, the greatest chance is that you too will be let go if you have by whom or oh, maybe you will let go at some point so why are we living for I am, uh, 
at the threshold of my career. Though I don't want to be. In that Bible that I mentioned, there is a psalm by man Moses. And it says there, O Lord, our ears are but seventy, the strongest eighty, and whatever. Though he did one hundred, he lived one hundred twenty one. My father. It's interesting that from a few months, from the last year, I stopped counting. My poem, because poems, anyway, there are poets and poets, but my poetry is free. Um, it came down, moved around, said the word. making my job. Did I forget anything? Uh, my coordinates are on the 45. 